Hi there, this is Ed Herzog from edherzog.com and today I want to show you how to create a single page website in Elementor. Now this is something you can do with either Elementor Free or Elementor Pro, it doesn't matter. That being said, you obviously have access to more widgets and other features if you're using Elementor Pro. By the way, before I start the tutorial, I just want to say real quick, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot of videos coming out on Elementor in the rest of 2020, at least one video every week and also into 2021. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on Elementor. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll take you through a tutorial on how to create a single page website using Elementor. So this is my wife's website for our Spanish teaching business. And what I'm going to show you here on this page, this is the entire website. As I scroll down here, there is nothing else. There are no other pages, there are no blog posts, nothing. It is just a single page. But it looks like any other website that you would encounter on the internet, any other web page. It has up here, first of all, a header. And it has a kind of introduction up here. Then you've got different sections, so meet your professor, individual lesson prices and policies, current and past clients, contact me, and then a little footer at the bottom. So even though it's only a one page website, it looks the same as any other web page that you would encounter on the internet. So let's take a look at each of these different sections, starting with the header, then looking at the content, and finally the footer. In terms of creating a header for your single page website, you basically have three options. The first option is a traditional way. You can simply use a header that is included within whatever theme that you're using for your website. The second way, if you have Elementor Pro, you can create a header within the theme builder and then put it on this page. That being said, the theme builder doesn't really add a lot of value here because you only have a single page. It's not like you have to put your header on 20 different pages, 50 different posts, etc. You only have the one page, so you can do what I did here and simply add a section and then add whatever you want here. And that way, if you only have Elementor free, you're essentially mimicking the function of the theme builder for creating a header. So what I have here is very simple. It, you know, again, you can design your header however you want. I have a little logo here and then I have a navigation menu. Now you can, of course, add additional elements if you want to add contact information, if you want to uh, add links to your social websites, etc. You can certainly do that. The one thing I do think is important, though, is to have a navigation menu. Even though this navigation menu is internal to this page here, because again, there's nothing else, right? I can't link to other pages because those don't exist. But I do think it normalizes the experience for your website visitor because when they come here, they have no idea that this is only a single page website. Again, it's very easy to scroll down. The nav menu doesn't really add much value, but I think it does normalize the experience. If you don't have that, you know, somebody coming to your website for the first time might be a little confused and wonder what the heck is going on because what do we expect when we visit a website, when we visit a web page? We expect a header with a navigation menu. So I think it's important to give that to the to the person, you know, give it to the people who visit your website, that normalizing experience. Now I will show you how to set this up so you can do this here. So it scrolls the different sections. It's very easy to set up. Uh, but you know, I think that is important to have this here. You know, regardless of what else you put in your header, make sure you have a nav menu. Now here I have, this here is the nav menu widget, which is a pro widget. So if you have the free version, you won't have access to this nav menu widget. So you can either, again, use the use a header that is included with your theme, that would be one option, or you could recreate something like this, just add additional columns, and then in each column, add a header, and then link it up that way. And so you could basically recreate this nav menu just using, uh, just adding however many columns you need, and then add headers to each of those columns. That be you know it's that simple. So uh, what else in terms of the header? I've made this sticky. You know you can make it sticky or not if you want to make it sticky. Uh, you know it's very easy to do. Just add the section. Oops. Go to advanced. Go to motion effects. And make it sticky on top. I did turn it off for for mobile, but I have it on for desktop and tablet. So, you know, very easy if you want to make this sticky. So it scrolls down. That's very easy to do. I did also, you know, in terms of design, I like very, very simple design. I added a 
border there a black border because you know just to give it a little more contrast this is actually not the same white here as you see down here but just to give it a little more contrast I put that line there but that's it in terms of creating a header very easy to do you've got the three options either the traditional way using something from your theme using the theme editor if you want to do that if you have Elementor Pro or just create it right here on the page uh, with anything else you would do within Elementor. Now in terms of the actual content that you put on your single page website, that's obviously going to differ depending on the purpose of your website. So whatever content you want to put, however you want to design that, that is 100% up to you. Obviously your website is going to look a lot different than my wife's website. Again, it depends on the purpose of your business. That being said, what I do want to show you is how to create this particular effect here. So that when people click on your nav menu, it will go to the correct section. So, as you see, I, there are these gray boxes here. This is created by the menu anchor widget. It's right here. It's like any other widget. You drag and drop it onto your website within Elementor. Now, this gray part here does not show up on the actual live website. It only shows up here on the back end, so you don't have to worry about that. And you want to put these right by each of the sections that you want to scroll to, right on top of it. I should actually, I'll probably go back once we're done here and add a little space here. Right now I don't have any space at all. It's probably a good idea to have a little space, maybe five or 10 pixels. But as you can see, I've got these placed one here, right on top of that particular title, one here for this section. Scroll down another one here for that section. And finally, right there for the contact me section. So you place it right in right on top of each of these here that you have within your nav menu now once you have the menu anchor widgets placed where you want them on your website on your web page what you want to do is you want to click on the blue handle and you want to give it an id so you can see just something simple here for contact me i just added the word contact now it does say the id link will only accept these characters a through z capital letter a through the z small letter zero through nine underscore and dash and you cannot put spaces in here so keep that in mind it has to be one complete element that you put up here so you can see as we go up here for that one i put clients for this one here i put prices and then finally here i put professor so you need to go through and do that for each of your menu anchor widgets now, if you've added a navigation menu to your header using either the nav menu widget that comes with Elementor Pro or by using a header that comes with your theme, what you want to do next is you want to head to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard. You'll then go to Appearance and click on Menus. Now, this menu here, you need to add manually. You need to add it using custom links. For each custom link, you'll use here for the URL the same word that you have in the anchor in the menu anchor widget. So there I have professor. Here I add professor, but I put the pound sign in front. You need to have this pound sign here as part of the URL. And then your navigation label will be whatever you want to have up here. And you'll do this for each of these. So you can see there I've got pound professor and the navigation level label is meets professor. Here pound prices with lesson prices pound clients with clients and pound contact with contact me. And if I want to add additional items to my menu, I come here to custom links. And again, I would just type in pound, then whatever word, whatever link text, and then I'd add a menu anchor here to that section and make sure that this URL matches whatever I put here for the custom, for the ID for that particular anchor. That's it. That's how you link up this sort of menu, again, either something that's coming from a header from your theme or something that comes from the nav menu in Elementor. It's how you link up these here with these links up here. On the other hand, if you created your navigation menu using columns and headers, here's what you want to do. Let me just drop a header in here. I'm not going to bother styling this, but obviously you want to style it to look however you want. What you want to do is you want to come here to the link. And you're going to add in, let's say you want to link it here to this menu anchor. So again, this one says professor. So you want to come here 
and the link, again, put, uh, put pound and then type in that word. And then you go to advanced and go to CSS classes. And this time you'll type in that word, but without the pound sign. Let's go ahead and update that and click on that. And you can see it's scrolled right down to there. So that's what you'd want to do if you're instead of using either the nav menu widget or a header from your theme, if you created something comparable using adding different columns and putting header, headers within each of those columns, that's how you do it. That's how you set up this scrolling effect. Okay, let me eliminate this real quick. Now I do want to point out over here on the Elementor documentation for the menu anchor widget, it does mention that if you're using a sticky header with anchor links, you may need to add custom CSS in order to get it to work properly. So again, if you have a sticky header like I have here, along with these menu anchor widgets, it could cause some problems. I didn't experience this myself, but I do want you to be aware of this. And I'll put the link for this particular page in the video description, that way you don't have to hunt around for it. Now, the next part of your single page website is obviously the footer. And again, you have the same three options for your footer as you have for your header. First of all, you could use a footer that is part of whatever theme you're using. That is one option. That's, again, the traditional way of creating a footer. The second option is, again, if you have Elementor Pro, you can create a footer within the theme builder and then put it on this page. But the final way, the way I used here is, again, just add a section to your site, to, to your web page, and then add whatever you want. Now, I just have something very simple here. I couldn't really think of much else to add here. But, you know, you could add additional columns. Again, you could put an email subscribe button. You could put, um, you could put contact information. You could put social links, etc. Whatever you want to put down here, you can do it here. No problem at all. So, again, you have those three options. This is going to be the same as your header up here in terms of the options for creating your footer. Now, the final thing in terms of creating your single page website is you obviously want to come here and go into responsive mode and make sure that your website is responsive on both tablet as well as mobile. And obviously you'll need to adjust that however you want. See here, for example, these logos, I have eliminated them from mobile because they just look way too big. But again, however you want to adjust it so it looks nice on mobile for your website, make sure you do that. That is obviously nowadays an important step. I don't know about you, but I get about 50% of my website traffic from mobile. So you want your website whether it's single page or multiple page, look, look nice for people regardless of device. So that is it. That is how you create a single page website using Elementor. If you have any questions at all, please ask me. I'm always willing to help people as best as I can. Again, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing at least one Elementor video a year, a year, a week for the rest of the year. And going into 2021, I'll continue to do Elementor videos. Finally, if you do decide to upgrade to Elementor Pro, I will put my affiliate link in the video description below. If you buy via my link, I do, do receive a small amount of money. It allows me to continue to create 100% free content. So that is it. I hope this video was of value to you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.